Brain fog, exhaustion, and difficulty breathing, those are just some of the lingering symptoms of COVID-19. Doctors in Austin say they're learning more about patients who are considered long haulers of the virus dealing with lung problems. As KXA and investigator Arzo Dost explains, researchers are studying the long-term impacts. What happens when COVID-19 symptoms don't go away? It's what researchers at UT Health Austin are studying. We're expecting almost 20 to 30 percent of patients who have COVID will have symptoms at, um, at least after six weeks, but sometimes leading uh, at six months. Dr. Michael Brode is the medical director of the post COVID-19 program just getting started. His team will be looking at some of the most complex cases, including long term lung complications. He's seen the impact treating patients hospitalized since the start of the pandemic. We're seeing plenty of patients who, you know, were young, uh, 20s to 30s, never had to take any medications before, and now having difficulty even walking to get their mail. Dr. Broad says about a third of patients who were hospitalized and needed oxygen had some level of lung scarring and tissue damage, making it tougher to breathe. That number jumps to almost two thirds if those patients were in ICU and needed a ventilator. This government registry shows more than a handful of international studies, including one in the U.S. just focusing on the lung damage caused by the virus. There are dozens of other studies looking at other lung impacts. Among those, one published in May in a radiology journal by UK researchers showed damage to the lungs of COVID-19 patients at least three months after they were discharged from the hospital, and for some patients, even longer. Does it concern you what could happen long term? Yeah, it's concerning. It, it Again, it depends on the underlying health of the patients. Dr. Manish Nayak is the chief medical officer at Austin Regional Clinic. He says the more severe the COVID diagnosis, the more scarring in the lungs. Someone who's young and healthy, even with a severe case, often there is recovery of lung function over a period of uh, several months. Somebody who's older and has less reserve, you know, they may not recover as much. As we learn more, Dr. Nayak and Dr. Broad say the key is prevention. They encourage getting vaccinated and wearing masks, especially now with the surge in COVID cases. Arzo Dost, KXAN Investigates. And Dr. Broad says for patients who have autoimmune disorders like lupus, after a COVID diagnosis, their immune system doesn't go back to normal and attacks their lungs. Now, he says patients who didn't need to be hospitalized don't have lung scarring, but have persistent coughs, shortness of breath, and new respiratory issues.